Peter's returning after a break in the Marine Corps, and uh, he's working on preparing a, a sample for destructive test. He did an, uh, an angle iron splice that's in the uh, third quarter of our curriculum. We do it with stick and also with uh, gas metal arc welding. Which one was that, Matt? The stick. Okay. So it was in a fixed position, so you had to weld flat, two verticals, and an overhead to complete it. And after it passed visual inspection, now he's uh, cut that angle iron apart to make flat bars, and he's preparing them to go do some tinsel tests on it. Dan here's in his first quarter. This is the uh, first day of the third week right now, and uh, Dan's working on some vertical up fillet welds here. They have to be three-quarter inch on all four sides of that. That's three-eighths plate that he's welding using eighth inch 7018. another Dan and he's doing the same assignment it's his first quarter as well. How's it going Dan? I'm good. Good. Alright, get a picture of his face? Yeah. Alright on. Hey Terry, say hi to the camera. Hi uh, camera. <laughs> That's Terry, he's the uh, assistant instructor and he also teaches a uh, night course. What we do out here primarily is pipe welding and structural steel. We're built in the process of building some elevated workstations. You can see we have a ladder that goes up, and uh, we're currently installing the catenary lines up there. So we have some uh, high places up there where guys can work at about 17 feet off the ground and walk on the I-beams and so on. We have nine 600 amp power sources out here. You can see we have a couple millers over here. There's an engine drive. We have three Lincoln 600 amp machines over here. And then we have four more over there. All the uh, items that you see out here also were built by the students. All the, all the work benches and the, the racks that the machines are sitting on and so on. The bottle racks, all that kind of stuff. And uh, we do a fair amount of work out here with uh, uh, stick welding, inner shield wire or self shielded flux cord wire, and then also gas flux cord wire. This is one of the more advanced structural steel joints that we do. It's part of the third quarter curriculum. Here's a beam splice that uh, Rich is working on. So in the third quarter, this joint needs to be done thir three times for one assignment, and it's been done with NR232 plus cord wire. All these joints are hand cut with a torch, hand beveled. Set up with a bolt up with a bolt up plate and so on and they'll all be back gouged and back welded before they're done and then all the joints after being completely welded and passing visual inspection all the joints will be cut out and then cut open. Harry's been working on this one. He's removed the backing plates and back welded it and uh, 
He's got some cleanup to do yet. He'll have to remove all the runoff pads and clean out the rat holes and everything to finish it. But that uh, looks like it's going pretty good. setting up a, an assignment similar to the last one. He'll hand burn a one inch plate that bolts here and then he's prepping the ends of those square tubes, two of them that will come up against the, uh, the one inch plate. You can see we have several fixed stations where we have the, the pipe uh, to uh, act for, as column connections. What the guys do is pick up sections of 8-inch Schedule 80 pipe with the one-ton crane over there. And then they uh, they bevel both ends of the pipe and they'll bring them over and bolt them up in a 2G position and, and weld the pipe out. Same over here with the 6G position. Evan is welding with 7018 on a, uh, 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 some uh, square tubing splice, and he's in the second quarter, and in the second quarter, uh, he'll have to do three of those with 7018, so he'll get plenty of flat, vertical, and overhead practice on that. And uh, at the third joint, after he welds it out, it'll be cut out, and all the welds will be cut open and examined. James is uh, doing this beam splice here with 7018, and uh, he'll do more of this in the third quarter with NR232, but the very first one we do with uh, 7018. And the next time he fits it up, he'll probably want to uh, make them run off the ads a little shorter. <laughs> It'll be easier when you get to your timber pad. Yeah. Looking good. This is a 6G square tube assignment. It's in the second quarter curriculum. And uh, I think we do this in the first curriculum, in the first quarter as well with 7018. He's doing it with dual shield here in the second quarter. How's it going? It's going okay. It's trying to grind that down before I can it. Okay. You're going to grind these knots off here, right? more permanent stations over here. Uh, we have, you can see uh, down at the end, we have a column connection station, then we have a square tube in the, uh, for vertical square tubing or a box, uh, a box column. And then we have another beam set up here. On this particular assignment, this is one that we do in the first quarter. The next guy will have to come up, cut the beam off with a hand torch, and then um, cut in rat holes. This was actually already prepared, but uh, this was done at the end of last quarter. And then he'll take a corresponding beam, cut and prep the end, bevel it, bolt it up to here, and then weld it all out, back gouge it, and back weld it. There's a pile of beams over there. Those are the ones that with the rings on them that they would pick up with the crane, uh, prepare the ends, and then set them up over here and weld them together.